Hi, this is Don. I'm at the listing that I have on Humboldt Hill Road. Um, it's about a 2.8 acre parcel that's been owned for over 50 years by Judy Braden, who's with me today. Um, Judy just recently had the top part of the lot bulldozed, so it's got a, a nice clearing pad here that I'm just going to pan around and show you. We have a, a showing right now with somebody else. But um, she said she planted these pine trees about how long ago, would you say, Judy? Uh, 30, 40 years ago. 30, and you say they're bull pine? Bull pine. Bull pine trees. And then over here across our way are some majestic cypress trees that I think she says has been here for who knows how long? Close to 100 years. Okay, 100 years. And um, she knows some of the history about this parcel. Maybe she can kind of elaborate. We just explained that to the other realtor, but I wasn't recording but um can you tell us some of the points i think you said there hasn't been any spraying there or... has been no spraying on the property uh, uh originally this part of humboldt hill was a golf course and this is the last green left that hasn't been sold or subdivided and put into subdivision yet okay and you said as far as utilities go judy we're off of um the traffic that you're seeing over here is from Humboldt Hill Road and we're off a little side street called Austin which takes us to this parcel and I think she said over by those two cars on your left are where some uh, the water would be coming in is that yeah, correct there's a five foot utility strip there okay and then electricity I think you said would be brought in on the it's, other side of the no it it, it it could everything's underground on Humboldt Hill so okay. it'll be Everything is underground. And, but there's a second there's utility a, on the other side, right, which is... Right, um, if they chose to use yeah, that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Excuse me, I bumped you there. This is off of uh, David, which is beyond these trees. There's there's a, an easement, I think, yeah, a legal easement, easement off of David yeah. into this property. But I think most people would probably choose to use this Austin way right. to get into the property. I'm going to try to zoom out a little bit so we can see more of the property but I have gloves on so excuse me I'll take the gloves take the glove off okay sorry folks okay now I can pinch out so let's just kind of walk over here Judy and so it does have a slope to it um, if you can imagine clearing out this brush right here you would probably have a pretty good view of the bay and you're thinking, Judy, if you were a homeowner, you might build past these trees. Is that I, would, I would build on the green. And that gets you as sunken down and you don't hear any road noise or people. Probably a wind barrier as well. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. So it goes, can you give me kind of an idea of how far down it goes from here? 416 feet. Okay. And then across ways, you said it's almost like a block. Yeah. from one end to the other yeah. so what we see fenced um it actually goes past these these trees right about how many feet would you say see where the fence is right about there oh, okay there's a fence uh right kind of see it there there's a yeah, there's a 20 foot easement along there okay and so it'd be 20 feet from the fence okay Sounds good. Uh, the, the bull pine are actually parked pretty close uh, to the uh, edge of the property line. Okay. Well, I think that kind of is all we can really look at today, but I'll, uh, I'll try to see. There's some other, there's some walking trails, but there, it just needs to be. I just had a trail put clear to the other end. Oh, you did from access over there? Yeah, and it starts right in through uh -huh. there. Um, the guy went through with a machete uh, or something. Yeah, and there's actually a trail clear to the bottom of the, of the 415 feet. They okay. had to take some ivy off of a tree, so they. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, um, if you folks have any questions, uh, you know how to reach me. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Yep.